Picture this, one moment it's a scorching 20 degrees Celsius. The next, it plummets to minus 80. Welcome to Mars. Join me as I take on the challenge of spending 30 days on Mars. Let's see what really happens when I push the limits of survival in a place that's totally out of this world. This isn't just about survival, it's about testing the future of human colonization. Every step we take on Mars brings us closer to becoming an interplanetary species. But first, we need to survive 30 days on the red planet. Challenge number one, Mars has virtually no oxygen. Every breath depends on the equipment you brought from Earth. Challenge two, deadly radiation bombards the surface daily. And challenge three, weather that can bury entire continents in dust. So how do you actually live here? Your habitat becomes your lifeline. Food grows in carefully controlled hydroponic systems. Every drop of water is recycled and purified multiple times, and you exercise constantly to fight the effects of low gravity. Your survival depends entirely on technology working perfectly. Communication with Earth has a 20-minute delay. You're truly on your own. Advanced manufacturing lets you create what you need from local resources. But then, day 18, disaster strikes. A planet-wide dust storm threatens to cut off all solar power for weeks. Power levels plummet. Life support systems start shutting down. This is the moment that tests every backup system and survival protocol. Emergency nuclear power kicks in. You survive by mere hours of reserve energy. After 12 days, the storm clears. You've survived the ultimate test. The experience changes your perspective on human resilience and ingenuity. Day 30 arrives. You've proven humans can survive on Mars. The implications are staggering. Mars colonization isn't science fiction anymore. We're not just surviving on Mars, we're preparing to spread across the solar system. Every challenge overcome brings us closer to making Mars a second home. So what do you think? Could you handle 30 days on Mars? Drop a comment below and tell me what you think would be your biggest challenge. And if you're hungry for more space exploration content, make sure to subscribe and check out my video on what it would take to reach Jupiter. The red planet is waiting. The question isn't if we'll get there, it's when you'll be ready to take that first step into humanity's greatest adventure.